Hello and welcome back to another BP Plays video. Here we have episode 5 of our Ipswich Manager career mode playthrough. So to start this episode off, we're going to do a little bit of training. Jump straight into there. You know I love a cheeky little training session. So uh, Kenlock there with a B. We'll fend him with a B. Norris with a D. Morris with an F. And Jones with an A again. He's been our star performer yet again there with the training. Jump into our office. We've got a couple of player chats here. So we've got Danny Rowe. I'm glad you have decided to sell me. Haven't been all that keen to play here. And I think a move will be the best for everyone. Well, you know. I'm happy we see eye to eye on this matter. And I think you're better off somewhere else. Yeah, I'm happy with that response to be fair. Good response there. Uh, so we've got Hughes coming through. I need to play more often. The amount of matches I get to play in at the moment isn't good for my career. I mean, you do play quite often, to be fair. It's just the last couple of games where you hadn't had very good performances that I haven't really played you. Um, we'll go with this one. Over the last couple of matches, I've tried different tactics, but you still have your place in the squad. Don't worry. Another player chat here. We've got Ben Morris. Sorry to disappoint you, boss. You gave me a chance, and I blew it. We'll go with... Yeah, don't, don't give up. If you want to be a part of the squad, you better step up. I only want winners in my squad. A bit of a harsh response to that, to be fair. Um, so we'll be back in just a second. We're going to jump straight into our first game of the episode. So just a quick update there. Hughes just came up to me and said, This upcoming game is crucial to our season. I feel great and I think I'll do a much better job if you pick me over Chirivea for this match. Tell you what, it seems you come up to me a little while ago. I'll give you a chance. So let's quickly jump in before we go into this next match against Gillingham. We'll jump in and uh, we'll drop Chiavea there. And we'll bring in Hughes. Here we are. Look. Save the changes. See what happens. You need a good performance, especially after a few bad ones. Jump straight in here. So no changes other than that huge change I've just made on camera. Uh, Gillingham had two losses and a win from their last three previous games can we start this episode off with a win this episode starts off with a bang Ipswich 2 Gillingham nil. we'll fend them with the goal and Keane as well Keane's back on the score in terms very very happy with that couldn't have asked for a better start to this episode you know, like Hughes has just come back I imagine he's probably saying thank you for uh, playing in that game let's have a look at there we go. Great win, boss. I told you selecting me would spur us on to the victory. I expect this type of performance week by week. You need to be able to consistently deliver at this level if you want to make it a regular in the squad. Jackson's also here as well. He's come up and said, Boss, I can't lie. I was worried that you had plans to replace me. I just felt a bit threatened by the new faces that have arrived at the club, coupled with the stories I read in the press. Thanks for straightening things out. Now, you're very welcome. So I expect great performances week by week. You need to be able to consistently deliver at this level if you want to keep your spot as a regular in the squad. So uh, two different players, the exact same response there from us. So uh, look at the standings there. 56 points at the top of the table. We are Portsmouth in second with 48. Very, very good start there for us. Virtually halfway through the season now. Um, so we need to keep this momentum going on to the next game. So we've jumped straight into the second game of this episode. Ipswich versus Lincoln. Lincoln there with three losses on their last three previous games. I said three a lot of times there. So 3-0. Uh, I'm going with a 3-0 prediction for this game. Second game in. 2-0 win. I predicted a 3-0. So one short of that. Keane and Chambers with a goal. We'll fend them with another booking. He's going to miss most of this season if he keeps getting booked like that. Another big result at the top of the table. Let's jump in for another cheeky training session there. Simulate these three. So Kenlock with a C. We'll fend them C. Norris C. Morris B. Jones with a C. So Morris got a decent result in there with a B. Next game of the episode is Wickham Wanderers. Before we go into that game though, I'm gonna th I think I'm gonna drop Hughes out and I'm gonna put Jones in for on the starting lineup. 
and I'm going to put Norris in for Holy there changing goalkeepers probably not the best thing to do when we've had two games two wins two clean sheets we were struggling to keep clean sheets last episode but uh, let's get into this next game against Wiccan Wanderers um, well we won't get into this next game because we've had transfer market information pop up and an email so let's have a quick look at them so since you haven't been successful in renewing excuses contract agreement he has now become available to sign on a free transfer by anyone who has interest in him we recommend you avoid a situation in which we can't won't cash in on a departure by renewing his contract or by offering him to another club as part of a swap deal yeah well we need a right back so maybe we will offer him as a swap deal and as you can see there the transfer market is now open thank you very much for informing me let's get into this game and uh, see if we can continue with this win streak 1-0 winners there happy with that result again I keep saying that every every game we've played so far I've been happy with the result any win you should be happy with the result Sears with the goal there another clean sheet through another bounce now couldn't have asked for a better start again so uh, as you can see there Wigan in the FA Cup round three um, but before we go into that game we need to bring in a right back so let's have a look and see what the scouts got for us so we need a right back so we'll just skip through and see if we can find one it's a left back plenty of left backs and strikers there centre back definitely don't need any of them players there we are there's a right back there uh, Lavinia Marcel Lavinia what we'll do is oh he's expiring in 12 months so we can get him to sh scout shortlist him as well so we don't have any problems later on let's see if we can get another right back in there there there's another one there look Miles Judd from Leighton Orient we'll do the same thing again scout and put him on the transfer hub so two right backs I don't think at this precise moment in time I'm looking to bring anyone else in um, so I'll be happy with that so uh, yeah let's jump into this game against Wigan and see how we get on into this next game of the episode Emirates FA Cup round three Ipswich versus Wigan we need to progress we need to at least make the round of 32 to beat our objectives can we do it oh unfortunately we go out Wigan 3 Ipswich 2 Sears and Nord with a goal from us Ghana got two goals for Wigan and Zizo got the third for them ah disappointing result that we needed to go further that's definitely going to look bad on our um, manager rating there couple of player chats in here so uh, yeah yeah it wasn't the right opponent unfortunately can't play you in there Curtis Jones cheers for the first team football I'm getting I'll be doing my best boss so I'm proud of you I'm proud to see you working hard I'm looking forward to see more from you out there Garba I was disappointed not to play you're in charge and all but I felt I would have had a good game squad rotation isn't about wrestling players each game needs to be approached differently and I was looking at alternatives yeah so unfortunately we are now out of the FA Cup it does mean we can focus a lot more on the league um, which is probably gonna be the only thing that we're gonna have going for us now disappointing result that to be fair jump in with a quick training session I won't bore you with updating everyone you can see on the screen what's going on here We'll just advance through. Um, what I'll do is I'm just going to skip through a little bit, and uh, if we have anything pop up, I'll come back and update you. So we just had a transfer offer for Hughes with 830,000. Previously, we rejected a one million pound bid offer for him. Um, we've got quite a few players in that position, and he's one of our older centre mids there at 26. So uh, I think I'm going to go in and have a little bit of a negotiation and see if we can up that price a little bit more um, but I'll update you with that once I've negotiated so two seconds guys
So we've managed to negotiate there for Hughes. We've sold him for a million pounds. I say we've sold him. I've agreed terms with him now. It's now up to Hughes and his agent to negotiate with them and decide if he wants to be playing first team football at Ipswich Town or at Allensball or however you pronounce that weird name. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to skip through again and then if anything else pops up interesting enough to uh, update you guys I will certainly do that. So just quickly before we jump into the next game of the episode I'll put Chiavea on the bench for Hughes. Dobra's come into the bench. Uh, he came on and replaced uh, Rowe and uh, Yandanda come onto the starting lineup and replaced Dobra that was up there. Um, just save the team sheet there. Hopefully uh, Danda can come back into the squad and have a decent performance. He, before he got injured and went out there he had very very good games up in that position. So uh, here we have Accrington in our next game in the EFL League 1. So they've got a win, a loss and a draw there. Lost 4-0 against AFC Bournemouth in their last game. Let's jump into this game and, and hopefully get a result that we need after that loss to Wigan in the last one. So that's another loss there for Ipswich. At Crington 1, Ipswich 0. They scored quite early on there in the 13th minute. Disappointing result. Brought them players in to hope we could uh, do something there. Even the ones on the bench couldn't do anything. Before we jump into the office, let's get another cheeky training session out of the way. You can see Morris went up an overall rating there. Happy with that. We won't bore you again with all the uh, the ratings and what everyone got. Jump straight into the office. Our manager rating's gone down again to 72. Very, very poor with that. So again, if switch board, we're not on track. Uh, with the financial, we need a profit margin of 9 million. Yeah, fortunately, there's not much I could do about that other than selling players. Oh, there we go. Look, Hughes has sold for a million pound. Board have allocated 725,000 to your transfer budget. Well, that'll be good considering we're in the market for a new right back. And uh, Flynn Downs has just come up saying, I need to play more often. The amount of matches I get to playing at the moment isn't good for my career. I'm counting on you when it matters most so you shouldn't be concerned about missing a few matches um is downs on my starting lineup at all yeah he's on the bench there um i'm very very tempted yeah what i'm gonna do is jump across to the squad hub quickly i might look at offloading offloading him there now sorry to say it yeah downs Yeah, so gonna gonna put him on the transfer transfer list and uh, hopefully make some money off him and hopefully get that profit margin going back up again. It's gonna be nice. So I've got a couple more emails just pop up before we got this Tranmere Rovers game. So yeah, so just before we get in there, let's have a look at these emails and see what they're all about. So Scroof Scroof, sorry, talks for Cole Scoose move to. Millionaros have broken down. They couldn't reach an, an agreeable terms. As a result, Linaros have pulled out of the negotiations. It's a shame that. It's unlucky for us. So we've got Pedro Chiave here. The upcoming game is crucial to our season. I feel great and I, and I think I'll do a much better job if you pick me over Jones for this match. Um, I'll tell you what, he hasn't had a game in a f few games, has he? So... Let's, uh, I'll give him a chance. See what happens there. And then Downs. Hey boss, I'm surprised, but a bit glad that you've taken steps without having me to ask. Yeah. See, so, yeah, I haven't figured out how you'll fit in my plans yet. A transfer might be your best shot at getting more play time. So I'm glad he was happy with that response. So do we attend a media press conference, or do we jump into this next game? Um. Let's have a media press conference. Love a little cheeky one in there. Every now and then it's good to go in there just to have a few questions Thank you guys. Thank you for joining and see us. We'll what happens. Now. So Downs is in good form. Will we see more of him today? Well, unfortunately not because we're putting him on the transfer market. So he ain't going to have many games. So uh, I'm trying something today. 
Each match is different and we must always leave our opponents guessing. Happy with that response there? The opponents you face today are very hungry for results considering their league position. Is your team as hungry as they are? It's a ridiculous question, isn't it? It's truly an obtuse question. Of course we are hungry for victory. We approach all matches as the same and we want a victory from every single match. Yeah, so uh, how we approach the upcoming match. So uh, the lads need to focus on playing well in the upcoming match without the pressure of winning. So uh, thank you very much for all of the questions. I will not take any more at this time. Back in with the next game of this episode, Tranmere Rovers versus Ipswich. We need a result here. We need a very good result. Especially now it's coming down to the most more decisive times of the season. Every result matters. 2-0 winners. Ipswich 2. Tranmere 0. Jones gets the goal there. Sears also gets the goal. I think I made a little bit of a mistake. I think I promised Chirvea a game. And I didn't put him in. So I have a feeling he will uh, be a bit disappointed with that. So we've got a transfer offer for Downs and also a player chat. Yeah, so I'm not usually one to blow my own trumpet, but I think I would have made an impact against Tranmere. So yeah, unfortunately I had to make some tough decisions and I couldn't take your wish into account as well. Yeah, I'm a bit... I feel a bit bad for not giving him a game there. So let's have a quick jump across for Downs there. So... Uh, Benevento interested in purchasing this player. His market value should be between 750000 and 1100000 So you could negotiate a better deal. Well, they've offered him 960000 mm. Yeah, I'm going to try and negotiate. So I'm going to try and negotiate and see if we can get bump that up to maybe 1100000 or maybe a million pounds. We'll see what we can do. But uh, back in a second with an update. So we're back here now. Um... I managed to negotiate a deal for 1,160,000 for Flynn Downs. It's down to him and his agent now to negotiate. And uh, if he wants to be playing football here or somewhere else. I mean, it'd, it'd be sad, sad to see him go. But um, unfortunately, these things have to happen. So uh, I'm going to do a cheeky training session in there. I'm going to do that off camera and then sim to the next game. Um, unless anything else pops up in the meantime. But back in a second so just a quick update here um, our scouts have come back for the two right backs that we looked at uh, so Mar Marcel Lavinia 57 rated um, he's 19 and then we've got Miles Judd who's 20 uh, he's overall rating is 55 rated um, I think I'm going to try and bring in Marcel Lavinia if we can if we can't bring him in then obviously our next bet is Miles Judd there but we'll just see what we can do. But I'll give you an update in just a second. So we're back after some negotiations. We managed to bring Marcel Lavinia in uh, on uh, 5k a week. Happy with that. And we uh, offered him 150,000 to bring him in. We brought him in. So we now have a backup right back. We don't have to put that right mid position in the right back like we had to do uh, in previous episodes. So... Uh, we're only five points clear at the top of the table now after the previous couple of bad results there. So we've got Fleetwood in this next game of the season. Uh, let's have a quick look to see where they are in the league. See where they are. So as you can see, obviously at the top of the table, Ipswich 65 points. Portsmouth second with 60. So we've got a 10-point gap to third place. So we're all right so far there so there we go you see Fleetwood in 10th place with 38 points so uh, hopefully we can have a decent result so uh, what we'll do is we'll get into this game and with a good result let's go so a 2-2 draw there obviously not the result we wanted there so Norwood got two goals Edwards went off injured bit disappointed there to be fair with his injury he's been playing quite well for us um, we really, really need to get start getting some more points again, because uh, we're going to start dropping down that table pretty quickly. Although it looks like Portsmouth, 
Portsmouth had a bad result there. Um, because they're only they're still on 61. Or they were no, they had a draw. They must have had a draw because they were on 60 points before. So yeah, so they had a draw there, and uh, obviously we had a draw as well. So it's a bit lucky there from us. So Flint Downs, uh, the green personal terms with Benevento. So the deal Downs 1.1. Million has been finalised. The board has allocated 850,000 to your current transfer budget. Thank you very much. So a loan offer for Lancaster. Um, I'll tell you what. I think I'm going to loan him out. We'll accept that one-year loan deal for him. Send him out on loan. Get him some playing time. And then uh, Edwards suffered a dead leg, dead leg quad injury and will be out for about three days. So uh, not too much of an injury. Quickly in here to Pe Pedro Chiavea. I need to play more often. The amount of matches to get to play in at the moment isn't good for my career. So over the last couple of matches, I've tried different tactics, but you still have a place in the squad. So don't worry about that. We'll do is we'll quickly skip to this next game, and I'll be back in a sec. So we're back now with our Ipswich versus Lincoln game. Quick little update before we advance through here. Um, I've just sent a scout out to scout um Danny Rose from Leicester City um hopefully I know he's about 26 I think so he's getting on the player but he'll be a decent player to have in hopefully advancing through the leagues on our way up to the Premier League if we can get there but uh without further ado let's get into this game and uh we need a big big three points today so see if we can get it at long last three points 3-1 winners there against Lincoln. Sears, Danda and Norwood gets the goals. Norwood did eventually go off injured though. Such a shame about that. They got they got sending off Melbourne for them. Very, very happy with that three points considering we've had a few stale games there. Um, let's get in with another training session. No rest for the wicked there. So here we go to Kenlock got a D, Wolfenden with a B, Norris with a D, Morris with a C, Jones with a D. Jones has had quite a couple of bad training sessions there. So uh, James Norwood has suffered a pulled hip flexor injury and will be up for seven days. Seven days isn't too bad. I think we've got a game coming up quite quickly though. So Kane Vincent Young has just come up saying, I need to play more often. The amount of matches I get to play in at the moment isn't good for my career. So uh, I'm counting on you when it matters most, so you shouldn't be concerned about missing a few matches. Um, so let's quickly just jump in here and change Norwood out. So we'll give we'll give our young little prodigy a go with Barnes. Barnes uh, Norwood's obviously going to have to come off. Jackson will come back into the starting lineup. Obviously not the squad. Vincent Young is there. We've got Kenlock left back there. We've got Herrera there, who's a, a decent left back. So we've just jumped across quickly. Uh, have, we've got a fair few left backs. So I'm going to look at offloading Vincent Young. So we're going to add him to the transfer list and uh, hopefully get some money for him. So uh, we're going to jump into this game against Rotherham. Another three points is needed here. And it looks like Portsmouth dropped points again in their last game. So uh, another big result there. We got the win and they drew. So good result there for us, especially at the top of the table coming into this final end of the season. But uh, let's get into this next game. So here we have Rotherham in our game coming up now. Um, they got a win, a draw and a loss in their previous three games. Another big three points needed especially to uh, extend this winning run again and to also open that gap up that Portsmouth have seemed to close. So hopefully we can get the result we need. Rotherham 2-1 winners here against Ipswich. Unlucky result for us. Wilds and Vassell got the goals for them. Barnes got the goal for us. Not the result we were looking for, unfortunately. Let's see. Yeah, Portsmouth closed that gap up. They're now only four points behind us. Quickly jump into the office, see what we've got here. So uh, attached in my scouting report for this month, please review and let me know which prospects stop to stop scouting and who you'd like to keep scouting further. 
and those you wish to sign to the youth contract. Let's see. If we oh, so wow. So we've got one player there, Peter Hill. Um, his potential rating of 64. He is 16 years of age. Um, but it looks like he can play in, in goalkeeper, left back, right back, left mid, right mid, left wing and right winger. So um, it would be interesting to see what position he actually plays there. But unfortunately we are going to reject him. Don't see him uh, fitting into any of the starting lineup there. So we're going to advance through, hopefully get through to the end of the scouting day. Um, so just here I wanted to let you know that Cole Scoot has run out of contract and Nagoya Krampus have approached him with a pre-contract agreement as you know this means the decision rests with Cole and Scoot he could have simply decided to join uh, Nag Nagoya Krampus when his contract expires yeah we know he can we know that Let's quickly jump through so here we are deadline day um couple of emails to check out quickly so yeah again Shanghai have approached Cole Skews so as you can see in that previous email that we just had uh, talks with Cole Skews moved to Nagoya Krampus have broken down as they couldn't reach agreement on their terms what we'll do is we're just going to skip through this advance through it and uh, see what we can get done and if anything pops up just like that so uh, yep yeah. So excuse has less than six months on his contract and free to discuss and join other clubs directly when his contract expires. Shanghai have made such an approach and an agreement has been made. And a loan offer for Lancaster from Bealfield. Um, we accepted it before but it broke down so we'll accept it again. So we're back in just a second with another update if anything happens. So we are back after the transfer deadline day there. Um, we're going to jump into the office real quick. We've got a couple of player chats here, so we'll have a chat with them. So James Wilson's in here. I've been in pretty good form lately, and I'm feeling good, so I hope you're not going to bench me for the game against Peterborough. So um, I tell you what, uh, I'll consider it. I haven't figured out the squad yet, but I'll consider your request before announcing the team sheet. And then I've got Thomas Holy here. The upcoming game is crucial to our season. I feel great. And think I'll do a much better job if you pick me over Norris for this match. Um, and I'll give you a chance. Yeah, I'll give you a chance. So what we'll do is we'll quickly just jump across. So we'll take Norris out for Holy. And we'll put Wilson in for... We'll drop Chambers for this game. So we'll save the changes. Um... We are not going to be playing this game this episode. We'll, we'll save the Peterborough game for the next episode. So we're going to call it a day for this one. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, subscribe and comment. Most importantly though, ding that bell. I've been BP Plays and I'll see you later.